I'm obviously an older pe person bracket now and uh, very proud of the Freedom Pass and something I'll fight very hard to defend uh, along with other pensioners at the same time as many people of my age will also tell anybody who wants to listen that they value the company of young people not just people of our age uh, and I think what has not been happening for young people in Haringey such as the closure of some of the clubs and centres to which people go, uh, the lack of activities and the lack of apprenticeships, uh, the, the lack of uh, con continuing education, uh, doing away with the educational maintenance allowance for instance by the current government. All these things have really hammered the future possibilities of many young people in the borough. Uh, I'm certainly very much aware of that as a father of four now grown up children. Uh, and a grandchild coming on, uh, is still very young. What, what sort of future will they have? Uh, unemployment is uh, pretty drastic actually, and the future employment possibilities for young people are, are, are very different now from what they were when I was young. So that's something I want to fight for very much, is uh, better education, more youth facilities, apprenticeships, uh, and perhaps establishing social enterprises or social companies with young people and old people's talents working together with each other also breaking down the generation gap as well as the east-west gap in both of which are very significant within, within Haringey so uh, uh, breaking down these, these separations, these barriers and, and mobilising young people's talent which is clearly there and, and the more I talk to young people the more, more I feel that it's not a question of dismissing them as self-interested. Uh, it's perhaps the other way around. They're, they're looking for a possibility for altruism and, and it's just not there at the moment.